With a linear coupler mate, you can control the relationship of two components while being translated. At this point, notice that each of these components are free to translate independent from one another. But for this lesson, we want to specifically define the relationship between how the two components slide. To do this, we'll be adding the linear coupler mate. To begin, I'll expand the advanced mate section and click on the linear coupler icon. When I make my selections, I need to specify the components that will have the relationship, as well as the vector that will define the ratio between them. I can use model edges or flat faces. As I select them, notice the arrows that appear are color-coded. These correspond to the ratios in the property manager. If they're going in the wrong directions, or if you just want to reverse one of them, you can change it by clicking them graphically, or by using the reverse direction checkbox. I'll give them a ratio of 2 to 1. And when I click OK, you'll see one of the components move twice as far as the other one.